All right, here we go. KG UV9, or excuse me, <laughs> 935G, KG 935G. <laughs> I did so many videos on the, the Motion Mate, I stuck in my head. My goodness. KG 935G, talking about scan groups. I've never, I haven't seen anybody else talk about this stuff at all. Maybe it's out there, I don't know, but this video or this radio is uh, extremely versatile for a GMRS. So I might, it might take a little bit to get through this, but I have a lot of information to share with you guys. It's going to be fun and hopefully informative. Um, took a little work to, to get through this and to uh, kind of figure it out, but so did the mate. And now I use that thing every single day. Like it's nothing. I'm just used to it. It's like a second nature scan it through the scan groups on that so i'm going to show you how it works on the radio and i'm going to go over here and show you guys how it works um how to program uh how, how to program it into the software and then also how to find some frequencies so let's go over to the software first here and i'll show you guys so this software is the Wotion software I don't know if the 935G is compatible with Chirp. I haven't looked into that, <clears throat> but this works really well and it gives you the scan group options and stuff too. So pretty suitable, uh, pretty acceptable for as far as I'm concerned. And this is going to be really cool. You're going to love this. Um, if you got this radio, it's a shame not to use these because the capabilities are there. If you're just using the 935G as a basic GMRS radio, you're not really even close to living, you know, using the full capability of this radio. So let's get into this here. So this is your main memory group here. This is what you see when you bring up the software. So you're going to read from radio and this is what comes up. Now I've gone in and put some frequencies in here. And, but before I show you that, so this thing has 999 channels all the way down there. Lots of channels, lots of frequency storage. <clears throat> this thing will store, uh, you can put in frequencies with, as long as it's within the range of this radio and you can look that up. If you got this radio, you already know what that is. It's. Uh, pretty wide range doesn't have air band or anything like that. It's only got the um, two meter band 440 band stuff like that. So what you want to do is see go over here to Let's see scan group. Okay, so This is the cool part that I don't hear anybody talking about this radio has a lot of versatility to it so scan a and scan B are your areas to scan and in group one under scan A you can set up a scan group and this thing is pretty cool because it will let you choose how many channels you want in your scan group so I have area one or scan group one set to one to channel one through 30 scan group two is channels 31 through 40 and scan group three i have set to 41 to 50 51 to 60 so on and so forth so then say you wanted uh, the next one to be 70 excuse me 71 through so you had a whole bunch of channel frequencies, all the whatever. Say you wanted uh, 61 through 
200 and, or say 200 71 71 to 200 so what that refers to what these scan groups and these numbers refer to are these numbers here on the side so scan group one I have 1 through 30 these are my channels frequencies within 1 through 30 right there scan group 2 is 31 to 40 this is what I have in there and so 31 to 40 so let me make this clear so 1 through 30 are gonna come programmed in the radio already you can see over here on the right side GMRS 1 through 22 repeaters 15 through 22 and then I started in on channel 31 with a ham radio frequency 146.520 is the 2 meter call channel in ham radio 145.49 is a repeater here's another repeater so on repeater repeater and over here on the right side you're going to want to name them because during scan under a certain mode um, you will be able to see the name come up under another mode you're going to see the frequency so it's kind of cool you I'll show you that in the radio uh, when we're done here so let's go down here a little bit so in scan group 3 here I have set to 41 to 50 so on 41 to 50 I'm starting to fill that bank up with 70 no these are uh, fire I have it these are not real frequencies I just put them in here so I set it up as fire 1 2 and 3 just for demonstration purposes so then the next bank let's go back 51 through 60 and there's what I have so far on that bank life flight one and two that's next bank I have EMS two one two and three and that's 61 to 70 I believe I had it set yep so you get the point here um, the key to this to doing this and having be doing it successful is to collect your frequencies first go through and decide what frequencies do I want to listen to and how do I want to organize them and similar to the mate frequency scan um, channels you do it consecutively but the nice thing is with this is you can choose how many say you have 10 frequencies you want in uh, scan group 2 you can choose 10 frequencies so you're not wasting spaces or whatever or if you just want to leave it open and say these are my 10 here or 20 here 30 here whatever however you want to do it but collect your frequencies first and I'm gonna show you guys for the brand new person <clears throat> that doesn't know where to look for frequencies um, let's see here you can go let's go to this right here so two websites um, to look for scanner frequencies radio reference is a good one and I've just brought up Idaho here and this is kind of cool you can choose by county right and then say you live in Idaho County that's what uh, that county is you come down here and it'll show you what frequencies are available and it'll tell you off on the right side what they are it's FM and um, it'll give you the call sign and what it is sheriff dispatch and there's your frequency right there so you can have this set up to have your software open and then search frequencies and then just highlight and copy and paste over into your software so radio reference is pretty cool there's um, all kinds of frequencies in here whatever county you're in state you're in another one 
for ham radio is um, repeater book. And let's go back over here. So you go to repeaterbook.com and let's go back to the beginning here. So you go to repeaterbook.com, click on North American repeaters or whatever. That's just where I'm going to go. There's a lot there. And then just to say Idaho again, say, click on the state of Idaho. And this motion 935G will accept two meter and it will take 70 centimeter frequency. So let's just click on two meter ham radio. And here are all of the two meter repeaters in Idaho right there. So you can go through and see what are close to you, what you might be able to listen to, and same thing, copy and paste right into your software. Say, let's do this one. Um, let's just do this one here, 14682. We're going to copy that, and let's go back over here to the software. One moment, it's not gonna be that quick. <laughs> App window, all right. Okay, so then we'll go back over here to the software. So we copied and pasted that. And say I want that in my ham radio group, which was right here, 31 to 40. You can just paste that right there and then you want to go over here and turn this off because we're not transmitting and receive tones transmit tones power range all that stuff doesn't matter um, you can add or remove this from your scan group so you can turn it on or off so that's kind of cool to be able to do so you can have apparently you can turn that off <coughs> have that in your within your scan group range and have it off so it won't scan that frequency that's kind of a neat i just realized that um and then just whatever that was uh po pocatell okay so pocatello repeater so you want to put the name in and like I said, in the in the radio, I'll show you. It'll show there's a mode where you can scan. It'll show you by name or frequency. So that was in the scan group, number one there, or number two, 31 to 40. So I hope that makes sense, you guys. But collect your frequencies and organize your frequencies. And you've got a lot to choose from here on this radio. I mean, 999 channels is a lot of frequencies. And the sky's the limit. You just go in there, radio reference um, or repeater group, or even just do a web search on scanner frequencies near me, those kind of things, and put them in there. And um, it's really kind of neat to organize them. So let's, I'm going to get this set up to where I can show you into the radio. So I'll be right. Okay, so now that you have uprighted uprighted <laughs> written to radio right to radio uprighted <laughs> um you know what i mean once you've written your software to the radio um you here's where you you can effectively use those frequencies in scan groups so uh let's see if i can do this and get focused here my camera's being a pain All right, there we go. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to push menu and you're going to scroll through until you find scan groups. There's scan group A right there. So I'll click menu again. Scan group A will let you scan all. Group one, two, three, and so on. 
so we had uh, we had frequencies in like three or four groups so let's just do that so we're gonna pit menu again and then we're gonna hit exit and now you're gonna hit scan and you can see up in the right corner there it's channel there's only three in that group so it's 41 42 and 43 it's scanning through that group now if you hit mode mode and scan again it's going to scan via the name area mode and mode again and I like doing channel mode with the number up in the corner and press scan again and that's in frequency you're going to see the frequency instead so if you want to go to um, go to another group you just go to menu uh, scan group A and we'll go down to group 4 and just exit and scan press and hold so now it's scanning 50 51 and 52 or whatever it is 51 52 so let's try um, another one so you guys see the point here kind of the, kind of the idea and scan so it's 60 through 6 61 2 and 3 and then like I said if you want to do the name you push mode and then you can scan again press and hold scan EMS 1 2 and 3 those aren't real but you can name and organize your frequencies how you like so all right so scan group let's go to scan group B see what that does so scan group B we're gonna do G2 we're gonna scan there you go you can organize scan group A and B differently so you don't have to have them the same which is another cool option so you have crazy amount of flexibility in here so <laughs> so organizing your frequencies is extremely important for this thing and the versatility of it is fantastic it's not just a little gmrs and i think there's other Wilson has several different models of ham radio out there all kinds of different things but for a gmrs radio the functionality of this thing is great you can put in ham you can put in ems you can put in all kinds of stuff and then just get learn how to get to use it so uh, i'm going to end it right there you guys and i hope that did something for you and uh <laughs> and good luck with it this is a cool radio and i'm going to do one last little video on the fm operation it's kind of funky but so is my Woshin mate but uh how to access and store frequencies in the fm radio you can do it in the software as well but to get it to the front you know from the front of the radio is kind of funky but like i said once once you get to know these things a little practice little little time with them but uh thanks for watching you guys and um i don't have affiliate links for these things the best way you can support my channel is just uh, subbing and liking and commenting those kind of things and i do appreciate the comments um and if it helped you i really appreciate hearing about that so all right, guys, have a good one. We'll, we'll catch you later, and uh, good luck.